Brownholtz does come in and play. Usually in this formation, he'll keep it. And I don't know if he got it. No signal. There's the signal. He did get in. It is an opening drive touchdown for the Miners. And it's Calvin Brownholtz, the backup quarterback, at a yard out. And the Miners have an opening drive touchdown, lead at 6 0. Yeah, this has got to be a big game for UTEP's offensive line, as I mentioned. Uh, beat La Tech. I'm talking about a team that beat UTEP. So it's been an interesting year in CUSA, and FIU's been kind of hit or miss this season. And right now, it's been a miss as Keenan Stewart just gets all over Grayson James and takes him down. James comes into this one, sophomore 6'3", 235 pounder. I mentioned out of Duncanville, Texas, just shy of 2,000 yards passing this season. As he stays on the ground, Lex Joseph looking for something, but nothing there on the edge. And it'll be third and a mile for the Panthers here on this second drive. Uh, that is quite the feat uh, for FIU this season. You saw the series history a moment ago as Brownholtz will throw. He's got an open receiver. It's Tyron Smith who catches it at the 40-yard line before he's taken down. Now, obviously it looks like run, but they can throw out of this as well. They give it to Tupo, though. He's off the left side. He breaks the first couple of tackles, and he's up near the 20-yard line, so he's got the first down and then some, and he was one tackle away, broken tackle away from scoring. And he missed his very first kick this year in the opener against North Texas. He's made 20 straight since and is a Lou Groza semi is a uh, finalist. Here is the first first down of the afternoon for FIU. Third and seven, start of the second quarter. Miners leading 14-0 over FIU. Panthers trying to keep this drive going. James with time over the middle, and the pass is caught and chopped down just inside the 40-yard line as the tight end Rivaldo Fairweather and outscored him 14-0. So we are just starting the second quarter here. They keep this one on the ground with Wilson Jr., and he is taken down in the backfield. Cal Wallerstadt getting in the mix. Under 13 minutes left now here in the first half. This is the best drive of the day so far for FIU, but that one, you lose everything you just gained on the first down play. It'll be third and 10 as Miners back on offense with 11.57 left to play in the first half, leading 14-0 after the missed field goal by FIU. Calvin Brownholtz on the quarterback keeper, if you're just joining us, getting his just his second career start, giving the game plan coming in with Brownholtz starting this one. And give it to Flores again off the right side. Cuts it back inside. Flores with some room now bouncing it to the outside. In a foot chase towards the pylon. And Flores reaches across the goal line. And no signal yet, but it looks like they might mark him out. Say he stepped out of bounds. They're meeting still. And there's the signal. It's a touchdown for Ray Flores. And it looked like Ray wasn't even touched the whole time. The offensive line, give credit to the offensive line for doing it. That's where Grayson James in this offense will take over. Had their best drive on the last drive, but it came up short with a missed field goal. And now Kelton Moss gets into the backfield and takes down James. 7.08 left to play in the first half. Miners taking over at their own 31-yard line. A gaping hole for Deion Hankins, and he is into FIU territory. That is certainly the way the Miners have been playing, up 21-0 and now in FIU territory once again. And look at the mean attitude running from Ronald Awad. Bulls over a defender. Second and eight, 21-0 UTEP. Brownholtz will go to the air. Taking a shot to the corner, and the pass is caught for the touchdown. It's Tyron Smith. Uh, offensive line gives uh, Brown, Brownhill uh, plenty of time to throw the ball. What a just what, good route, good catch by Smith. His sixth touchdown of the seat. Miners have 175 yards rushing here in the first half with still 226 left. They'll go to the air on first down. Brown Holtz will air it out deep. And the pass is caught by Kelly Akari. And he breaks the tackle. And Akari will score. Incredible. Kelly Akari won the jump ball. Actually, we talked about running the ball. Heck with that, UTEP says. They're going to air it out. So they go, and what an athletic catch by Kelly Akari. Man, then he, then he has the wherewithal to get off the tackle and score a touch. Can FIU do something with it with just over a minute left? That pass is picked off. So the answer is no. We were just talking about how they hadn't made any turnovers, and Gary Theard, one of the seniors honored before the game, all of a sudden comes in, makes an interception, and now the Miners have the football in FIU territory. 
And now the Miners have it first and 10 from the 43. And Hankins has all sorts of running room on the outside. Inside the 30, up near the 25-yard line. 20 of 21 on the year. He's made 20 consecutive field goals. This one from the left hash. A chip shot, and he bangs it through with two seconds left. When Mike, Mc, Mc, Mike McIntyre's dad, George, was an assistant coach on the staff there. Here is a gaping hole for Ray Flores, and he is off to the races across the 45-yard line. Huge run on first down for Ray Flores. Now we're seeing the Miners take a little bit of the clock out, too. They were trying to find some room off the left side. Ball comes loose at the end. And it's whistled down by the official. Ronald Awat, the running back next to Calvin Brownholtz. Play action. And Brownholtz is crushed, loses the football. It's scooped up. And it is FIU running it all the way back. Alex Nobles with the cavalry inside the 10. And Alex Nobles gets FIU on the board for the first time this afternoon on the scoop and score touchdown. The transfer out of North Carolina puts the Panthers on the board. At, uh, UTEP did not score in the third quarter, and they were scoring at will. What a, what a shot right there. What a shot. And so far, FIU is winning the fourth quarter, so they're, they're still playing. It's that was nice. Adrian Cole delivering the initial. Miners will keep it on the ground. Flores with a patient run and then finds a hole before he's leveled out of bounds. Try and get some of the seniors in there too, I would imagine, before the end of the game here on Senior Day. Speaking of seniors, this is Ronald A. Watt. He's trying to break a few tackles, but boy, relentless pursuit from the FIU defense. Just nowhere for Awat to go. Approaching 11 and a half left to play. Here's Awat. Awat squirts through a hole and is still running across the 30 yard line. Not sure how he found room there, but Ronald Awat with some sneaky, slippery running. Fourth and goal from the one. The give to Joseph, and he is met up at the goal line, but then a second effort surge. And he's in for the touchdown. The local kid, Jalen Joseph, gets a touchdown for the Miners. So they'll get another shot at here. Still keep it on the ground, and he's met up once again. Safety. And I don't think he got out this time. No call yet from the officials. They're going to meet. Dropped what would have been a 75-yard touchdown at the start of the second half. That would have given him a two-score lead, and they had a touchdown taken away because of a pass interference. So... Woulda, shoulda, coulda, but the UTEP Miners hold serve here at home.